guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is missy Siwe, and if you're coming back thank you so much for the love and support i really do appreciate it in today's tutorial i'm just going to show you guys how to get this flawless look honey i hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel also please don't forget to hit that notification bell because your girl is going to be posting five different looks that you guys can do either for christmas or new year's or whenever you like um so yeah hit that notification bell so that you know when i post and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it I'll see you guys in my next video so i've already done my eyebrows of course i'm about to prime my face and for prime i'm going to use my nyx cosmetics a studio photogenic primer this primer is white so don't stress it is white literally and i'm just gonna apply this all over my face it's very important to use primer guys i don't know how people do it but you know what's funny with other people even though they don't use primer they make up literally looks so beautiful you wouldn't even see but i think i don't know primer is important okay it's just important to prep your base before putting or applying any makeup products to be quite honest so always prep your skin moisturize use primer do what you gotta do apply sunscreen because that's very important or else you're gonna burn you are going to burn okay um so yeah that's very important like i said this primer is white so <laughs> don't stress about it and i'm sorry if you can hear the cars outside i love how techy this primer is literally i feel like it grabs your foundation and your foundation literally stays in one place maybe it's just all up in the mind okay but that's how i feel about it <laughs> One thing about NYX Cosmetics, <laughs> their products are not cheap. I don't get why they say it's a drugstore brand, but their products are not cheap. NYX is not cheap, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Ooh. Like that. My wave is going back. But it's okay i'll fix it when i'm done and then of course i'm going to use my lasting fix spray by maybelline Ooh, you know what i mean you know what i mean um i don't know which foundation i want to use today but i want to use a different foundation so but you know what you know using a different foundation is gonna cause me problems because i've been using one foundation for the past two weeks so if i change my foundation i feel like my makeup is not gonna look the way i want it to look and not today just not this week <laughs> you know what i mean i need a flawless look for you guys so not this week i don't know let me think about it real quick let me think about it real quick and sip on my wine guys so i asked my boyfriend to pour me a glass of wine why why did he fill it up till the top i mean what was the reason you are short <laughs> so guys let me quickly tell you a story okay let me just find my foundation first i think i'm gonna use these two from revlon this is the new complexion range one step compact makeup this one is in warm beige and this one is in toast i forgot which one matches my skin tone so definitely not this one warm beige i see the one oh yeah warm beige is the one for sure so i'm just gonna apply it like this with my hand so yeah so <laughs> Let me quickly tell you guys a story. So, me and my boyfriend were drinking, right? And then, 
you know, conversations were flowing and stuff. So I was like to him, Ginga shown. Or like, I think I, I can't remember. I can't remember. But I think Unga shown or Ginga shown. Something like that. And guy was pissed. He was so pissed off, guys. He was like, oh, you're, so you think I'm going to die? Like, what are you talking about, my guy? Don't you know? Nina Shoni, he's like, no, I'm not on social media, so how would I know those things, whatever? I'm like, my guy, relax. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> it was so funny, though. The way he reacted, it was like, I said something bad. Like, I was like, no, I'm not saying you're going to die, you know? Okay, let me just blend this out and then I will apply a second coat if I'm not too impressed with the coverage. So to blend that out, I'm going to use my beauty blender. Guys, this beauty blender has been through a lot, okay? But let me tell you something. This is my favorite beauty blender. I've never, I can't, like, I literally can't find the best beauty blender. Like, this one is super soft and it just does everything I want it to do, to be quite honest. So, no, oh, excuse me. So today I'm starting with my base only because I feel like when my base is done I can sort of see where my look is going but when I start with my eyes I feel like you know what I mean you know so today I'm starting with my base and my eyebrows look different today I feel like my eyebrows look different every single day Don't forget your neck. So this top actually sits like this. So I think I'm gonna have to put a bit of foundation on my chest, or else my pictures are gonna look super weird with that one line on my neck, and we don't want that. I see phony lento. I can't speak Zulu to save my life. That time my name is Mrs. Zulu. Weird. You say, yeah, what are you guys doing for Christmas? I'm actually leaving. I just actually booked, we just booked our flights today. So I'm leaving soon, going to Joburg. Um, okay, anymore. I can't see. I feel like, yeah, it's not. So I'm gonna be with my mom and my sister, my dad. It's gonna be very fun. You know the vibes? It's gonna be those vibes. I'm planning to actually cook this year for Christmas. I got to eat llama. I got to eat llama. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and cook this year for Christmas. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But obviously my mom and my little sister is gonna help me. But yeah, I'm planning to cook this year. I'm planning to sort of have a family. I don't know vibes you know what i mean because i feel like always on christmas it's either i'm at my boyfriend's place like home his home or i don't know like my aunts and stuff but this year i just really want to spend it with my mom and little sister and my dad because i haven't seen them or spent time with them for so long especially because of this pandemic so i feel like i need to spend time with my mom honestly Oh, flawless. What? Mm hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to apply this thing again. <laughs> this foundation. Is it a foundation or like, I don't know. But I'm using it as a foundation. It's a foundation. I think warm beige is my shade. <gasps> is it warm beige? Or something? Is it? Why is it light? No, no, it's definitely not warm beige. I don't know. Oh, but this thing of talking too much and drinking wine while I do this <laughs> is a bad idea. But keep it steep, guys. Keep it steep, okay? This is not that typical tutorial it doesn't need to be all that serious honestly just grab yourself a glass of wine and apply makeup 
basically that's what we're doing okay let me because it's gonna irritate me so yeah i'm just applying the second coat and blending that out i love how it looks actually on my skin my skin <laughs> So what are, are your plans for Christmas? Are you going to spend it with family? Are you going to be away with friends? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are your plans? To be quite honest with you guys, I'm not even going anywhere. But... You know, I gotta look cute. Sometimes your man... You have to keep, look cute for your man. Sometimes, sometimes who the if you are, you know what I mean. Sometimes now the whole thing like usually the hijab. No, 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 no. I love how it's blending out. You know what's the thing, man? Like I said, sometimes when you don't use a product for so long and you use it again, you sort of love it more. I feel like the first time you use products, how do you see the way, man? Is it just me? I'm probably crazy. Thing is, I probably judge a lot because this is what I do, you know what I mean? So, I know what I want and I know if a product is not working for me. That's flawless. Like what? Come on now. If that is not flawless, I don't know what flawless is. Alright? Okay, so I'm not going to apply foundation under my eyes. Like, close to my waterline, obviously, because I have big eyes. And that's where I crease the most. I say this all the time, but you never know who's new here. You know what I mean? So I gotta keep on saying it. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't apply foundation close to my like waterline because i have big eyes and i crease the most so i don't want to apply a lot of product today so concealer will just do it basically so to highlights and cream contour obviously i'm going to use my maybelline concealer in the shades if i can find it i don't know where it is but to cream contour i'm gonna use my revlon foundation stick in the shade cappuccino i'll show you guys just now if i can find the product okay to highlight my face i'm going to use my maybelline fit me conceal in the shade 25 and to wow that car was so loud was that necessary to cream contour my face i'm gonna use my um foundation stick um, my Revlon foundation stick in the shade Cappuccino. I don't. I've never used concealer to cream contour my face. Hey, only because I feel like concealer runs out quickly. I mean, I, like my thing is, I don't want to keep buying products, makeup products every month. Like, no, no, <laughs> no. I can't. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> I can't. Honestly there's a lot of things we need to prioritize like sometimes no mm -mm. i know this is what i do but mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't want to buy makeup products every single month a product should at least last me at least two months my guy you know what i mean at least two months not less than two months nope let me not speak languages i can't speak because some people might get offended so i'm sorry guys anyway to cream contour i'm gonna use this foundation stick like i said i'm gonna let this concealer sit a bit on my face because because I want more coverage and when it sits it dries up a bit so it won't move a lot therefore it's gonna give you a better coverage oh my god I forgot to <laughs> contour my nose what the hell but I can just use powder for that but I prefer to use creams first anyway like I was saying I prefer to use foundation sticks because they lost me like literally i had this foundation stick for a year <laughs> that time when i'm gonna use concealer i'm gonna constantly have to buy concealer like every other month you know 
and no thank you i'll stick to my foundation sticks To blend this out, I'm using an angled brush from Wet n Wild. All products I use are drugstore, so you can either get them from Flex or Deskim or for Shein sometimes. So what I do is when I blend this, I also take it down or else you're going to have like a dark shadow here and then here is going to be white. Like you sort of just need to blend everything together guys. Like just blend everything together. <laughs> Basically. It's now it's time to blend out my concealer. I don't know why I'm excited today. I'm feeling myself. It's probably because now I know when I'm actually going to my mama's house. Because at first I knew, but I didn't have a booking for my flight yet. So, because I do, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. It's always good to be home, guys. I know everyone is probably coming to jo to Cape Town in December, but because I live here, you know, sometimes when you live somewhere, for you, it's not that exciting. I don't know. It's probably just me, but for me, it's like, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Also, guys, one thing that's very important when applying makeup, try not to be in a rush. Try not to be in a rush when applying makeup because that can make or break your look, to be quite honest. Now I'm going to blend out that contour. Ah, guys, something about concealer. Just something about concealer. Like, oh, yeah, can fun. Like, it just makes everything flawless. Like, it just, oh, uh, concealer is the gods. Of makeup like literally if there's a product that's important to me it has to be concealer it just has to be concealer like concealer setting powder and setting spray gods of makeup to be quite honest imagine not applying setting spray like I don't get how people do their face beats like without setting spray setting spray is very important setting spray makes everything look blended it just you know gives you a flawless look besides the fact that it holds your makeup you know so i don't understand how people like you walk out the house without applying setting spray yet you have a face beat on i let's have a look at my face i see again i get look at it i see it i see it i see it yeah i'm just gonna go back with my brush of course this is very important to make sure that everything is blended out you know before you set your face because once you set it it's done baby it is done Can you guys see how big my eyes are? Like, <laughs> I have big eyes. I have big eyes. And then I'm gonna apply my setting spray just a little bit. Just a little bit. I use this thing to my show. I, I, I have to buy two for December. Well, it's already December. And December is almost over. After two weeks, December will be done. Yo, this is crazy, guys. Time 
flies time really does fly i'm just gonna go back and blend that in like this and then i'm going to set with powder to set my face i'm going to use my loose luxury banana powder in the shade <laughs> banana what am i saying my loose um luxury powder in the shade banana by makeup revolution it's in gears it's sweet imagine life without setting powder like what does it even make sense a face beat without setting powder that's why it's shiny and it's really just the best in the color i'm joking <laughs> to apply a bit on my eyebrows just a little bit not too much okay I'm going to apply I'm going to apply a bit more under my eyes because I'm gonna do my eyeshadow just so that if I have any fallouts it will catch all that like that <laughs> Ooh. um I can imagine how it looks here anyway it's time to set the rest of my face and of course to do that i'm gonna use my pressed powder i need to get a new pressed powder if you guys have any recommendations in terms of pressed powders then holla at your girl because i need to get pressed powders so i'm gonna apply this all over my face even on my contour because sometimes i feel like um the setting the pressed powder that i use for my contour doesn't really set my contour because i feel like sometimes it still looks oily as if i didn't set it so i'm just gonna apply this all over all over i wanted to braid my hair but december is already over so and yes but it's not really over but it is because we have to be home by 11 so <laughs> what's the point anyway i'm going to set my cream contour using my pressed powder from maybelline in the shade caramel this is how it looks and i'm gonna set my pre i almost said i'm gonna set my pressed powder what am i saying i'm gonna set my cream contour using this see yep and also i don't want it to look too dark guys i'm very light so sometimes contour can look a bit too harsh on me i don't know Sometimes I just don't like how it looks. Sometimes it makes me look orange. It's so weird, but you know It is what it is So to prep my eyelids, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me um, Concealer. This is in the shade number six I use a lighter concealer to set my eyelids or well, to prep my eyelids or whatever because I don't know it just gives me more pigment when I apply my eyeshadows so I'm just gonna blend that out using my damped beauty blender I'm laughing because I don't know what look I'm going for to be quite honest so i'm gonna take a bit of loose powder and set around the edges of my eye around the edges of my eye like this it just makes this just makes the blending process easier so i'm gonna use my makeup revolution eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna use this first shade guys i don't know how to show you but this is how it looks 
and then I'm going to use this shade these are the only two shades that I'm gonna use hopefully I don't know what type of I know that I'm gonna use green but I don't know what type of eye look I'm going for in terms of like the design and stuff so I don't know but hopefully these are the only two shades that I'm gonna use I love this palette so much this is a reloaded velvet rose eyeshadow palette I love it so much because it has neutral shades literally this is your everyday eyeshadow palette you once you get this eyeshadow palette I promise you if you're not into makeup and different types of eye look then this is the palette you should get because these are the only sh literally these are the only shades that you need these are all your neutral shades you know what i mean so yeah that's that <laughs> i'm gonna take the first shade i don't know i'm just gonna apply it here change of plans i'm only gonna use this shade right over here that's going to be my transition shade I don't know what type of eye look I'm going for, so actually, I don't know. I'm just going to put this here, and I'm sort of going to drag it upwards like this. I sort of want this shade to give me a cat eye effect, but only this shade. Only my transition shade. This brush keeps going into my eye. I'm actually also going to apply this shade like all over my lid like this. Since it's my transition shade, so yeah. And I'm sort of going to apply it like this so that it's just a reverse contour for my nose. Like that. I know it looks weird. Trust the process. Trust the process. Okay. And then I haven't used this eyeshadow palette in forever. I'm going to use my Sway Bite eyeshadow palette, my favorite eyeshadow palette by NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to use green going to use this shade first right over here and then I'm gonna use the shade here so these two shades I'm just gonna apply this from the outer edge of my eye and the inner corners of my eye like that and then I'm going to apply green on top like I said because I'm going for a green halo look <laughs> so I'm going to tap it and then I'm gonna blend it and one thing about me I will blend I will blend Boom. and then i'm going to apply a darker shade on top like this green like it's a very very dark green this one this one this one it's a very dark 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 it looks black but it's actually green i'm going to apply that on top of this one but not too much not too much because i still want you guys to see the green like this just like this like just a little bit i'm not even gonna blend it i'm literally just tapping it on see how i'm doing it so now i'm just gonna sort of wipe this <laughs> on my pads because 
pants that I'm wearing is like you know what I mean so that's what I'm doing and then I'm sort of gonna try and diffuse the edges very lightly I don't want the main green to fade away and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my finger to apply a shimmer shade on top and I feel like I want to go for a light shimmer shade because I don't, I'm not trying to go gothic, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go back to my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this shade because this is the lightest shimmer shade. Actually, this is, no, this. Ugh, I'm just gonna use either or or both, depends. I don't know, I'll see how I feel, but I'm gonna start with this one first. And I'm gonna use my finger to apply that directly on my lid. Like this. Mm -mm, that's not working. You know what I'm gonna do? That's not working. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray a bit of setting spray on this brush that I've been using. And then I'm gonna use this brush. For my under eyes, I'm just going to use black eyeliner to be quite honest, to keep it very simple. So I'm going to use the Revlon black eyeliner, cream gel eyeliner. So I'm just going to apply it on my waterline like this. Talk about sensitive eyes. And then I'm going to set it with my black eyeshadow, of course, because it's a cream. You need to set your creams. Or else it's just going to run down your face. Like that. And then I'm actually just going to smoke it out using a green eyeshadow i'm gonna use this green eyeshadow i'm just gonna try and put it on my outer edges i don't know if it's gonna work and if it doesn't work then i'm just gonna put it all over so you sort of want to tap it on something so that you don't have too much full out For blush, okay, now I'm sort of annoyed. Do you guys also feel this way? Like when you're almost done with your makeup, you just get annoyed because you want to get done. I don't know if it just happens to me, but it happens quite a lot. So I don't know. I feel like I give it and I give a lot of it, you know? Um, For blush, I'm just going to apply my Essence Blush in the shade 20, Bury Me Up. The one that doesn't have a lid, yes. <laughs> it still works. Okay, don't waste your products because they don't have lids. Blush it up, honey. Blush it up, honey. Directly on top of my contour. Like this. Like that. I know it looks weird, but relax. Relax. Everything is falling. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to my press powder and blend out that certain powder that I left and just blend out everything basically. We don't want any harsh lines over here. We ain't doing that. Um, and then, I don't contour my nose, but nothing hectic. I'm just going to, I'm getting irritated. I'm just going to take my pressed powder and I'm just going to contour my nose. Nothing hectic though. Just 
like that. Like that. And then go over with my brush because I don't want it to be too harsh. Like that, basically. And then what else? My lips. Let me do my lips and then set my face. Or let me just set my face first. But either or. Let me see how I look. <laughs> One thing about me. I know how to blend for the gods. Okay? I know how to blend for the gods. Trust me. This is the girl you should trust when it comes to makeup. Me. Trust me. Hmm. Hmm. Of course I'm going to do a nude lip because my eyes are too bold. Um. So for my nude lip, guys, I need to get a lip liner to be quite honest i'm just gonna use this brown liner I, I don't even have a sharpener so i don't know if it's gonna work I sometimes overline my lips depending on the mood that I'm in I actually found my favorite lipstick it's in my bag let me go get it so I'm gonna I'm gonna apply this essence lipstick this is in the shade oh guys like some of us can't see hey I don't know what shade this is in to be quite honest it was a guy like I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what shade this is in, but I'll leave it down in the description box below. This is a matte lipstick. But I sort of just want a proper like nude, nude, nude lipstick. So I'm going to use my NYX Cosmetics lipstick. This is in the shade Dainty Days. Yeah. This is the nude that I'm looking for. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to apply a bit of concealer on my lips. Yes, concealer. Just tiny, tiny, inty, weenty bit. To give me the perfect nude that I'm looking for. I can't. I need a lipstick that looks like this, guys. I can't do this because this is my middle finger. Okay. I need a lipstick that looks like this. This type of nude. This type of nude. This type of nude. Please suggest where I can get it. It's not bad actually. I think it goes well with my top. Nothing hectic, just perfect nude lip. I mean, <laughs> honey. Okay, now it's time to set my face. No, actually, I should do my liner. I'm actually going to use this for my liner because I don't want anything hectic. Just a simple line. Just like that, nothing hectic really. And I'm just going to apply my lasting fix setting spray. And then I'm going. 
going to apply highlighter I'm just gonna apply this Revlon highlighter honestly because it is used here so I might as well use it my nose my chin and my brow bones uh, this Revlon um, highlighter is in the shade Shade Daybreak Glamour. This is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love this look, honey. I adore this look. I really do love this look. You know, at the beginning, I thought that green is a very ugly color. Like, it's just too bright. And, I mean, we don't want heavy looks, whatever. But, honestly, this look is flawless. This look is is flawless especially when you pair it with a nude lippy let me tell you something you'll never go wrong with a bold eye look and just a nude lip and that's it like a t-shirt and a pair of jeans with some earrings and that's it honestly i don't know i love this look do you love it too if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment share subscribe hit that notification bell so that you're notified for my every upload see you guys in my next video Mwah.